Welcome to WebStyle Press. FontAwesome is an icon library and toolkit used by millions of designers, developers, and content creators. It has free version and pro version. FontAwesome Pro and FontAwesome Pro Max cost may not be suitable for junior web developers, but companies where you work as a web developer may get you FontAwesome Pro version, or the client that you work with can provide you FontAwesome Pro version to use in his project. FontAwesome Pro has got more than 19,000 icons. FontAwesome Free version has got 2000 plus icons to use. As compared to FontAwesome Pro, FontAwesome Free icons are limited in quantity. To use FontAwesome, you have to know which style are you using so that you can apply a specific font family and font weight to it. FontAwesome is good. I use it a lot, but there are other good alternatives as well. In this video, we are going to discuss that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing you similar content on this topic. Likes and comments will help me understand which content do you like. Okay, back to the topic. So the alternative that I'm going to show you is Google icon fonts. Search and go to Google fonts and then click add icons tab. This is a great addition in Google's resources for web developers. It has got two flavors, material symbols and material icons. And if you want to use Google font icons in design tools like Figma, they've got Figma plugins as well for material design icons and for material symbols. You can install these plugins in Figma and use it with Figma. So let's see material icons. Material icons are available in five styles. Outlined, filled, rounded, sharp, two-tone. And these are available in a range of downloadable sizes and densities. Icons are based on core material design principles and metrics. To use these icons, click at any icon. And you see here, it is available for web, for Android, for iOS, for Flutter. You can choose density. You can select size. You can select the color and here is the code that you can use to implement this icon in your project. We've got instructions here. And here we've got this CSS style sheet link that we can use to implement these fonts in your project. After selection, we can also download it in SVG format or PNG format. And these icons are huge. Then we have got material symbols. Material symbols are newest icons containing over 2,500 symbols in a single font file with a wide range of design variants. Symbols are available in three styles, outlined, rounded, sharp. And these are also available in four adjustable variable font styles, including fill, weight, grade, and optical size. So all of these fonts can be used by using a single font file and for the customizations just look at this you can increase weight you can increase grade Here is a small difference in grade and the optical size. To use these icons, click at any icon, download SVG or PNG file. You can use static icon font by using this CSS and this class name and the icon name in markup. Or you can use variable icon font. Include this CSS file and use this style. Variable icon font has got one font file containing all variants. This is truly a great resource that is free and flexible. Icons library is huge. 
you can get almost any type of icon from here. If you don't want to use Font Awesome, you can use Google Font Icons, even for your static website. And if concept of variable icon font or font variation settings is new for you, have a look at MDN resources like font variation settings. With variable font, this is possible now. MDN has also got variable fonts guide. So use these resources, font variation settings and variable font guide to better understand and use variable icon font. I also have created tutorials on variable font that I will link in description. So give this icon library a try and let me know your thoughts in comments. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.